Yeah, so you know, after those first couple of drives where both teams were kind of, or we were definitely stalling out, just getting a field goal here or there, uh, Kendall Vilder got an interception, and we went down, scored, and then held them to a three and out. We went down, scored, and from that point on, it was just all Eagles the rest of the night. Um, so, so I think that interception, getting momentum for the defense, getting a stop, stopping the New Mexico State offense was, was key, and then also finding rhythm on the ground game to go down and score was, was huge for us. Yeah, we're definitely the underdog, you know, though we have one more win, their loss is a lot closer and their wins are a lot bigger. Um, you know, most of their games are 30, 40 point difference where most of ours have been close. Their one loss was in overtime um, to the number 17 team in the country. Ours was, you know, 31 points to Clemson. So we're very different teams so far, but it's a huge game, as you said. Um, the winner of this definitely is the leader of the East, but I think the winner of this game will win the Sun Belt um, Championship game as well over whether it's Arkansas State or ULM at the end of the season. So it's a huge game. For us, I mean, I think it's just being confident is one thing. That's what's happened in the past couple of games. It's happening against Arkansas State. I think Arkansas State was still a better team uh, that, that night, but we were confident, had that home field advantage, had that crowd behind us, um, and, and the Eagles came out on, on top, of course. You know, Thursday night, you know, primetime game, one, you know, big rivalry game, and also the the feeling. There's a lot of seniors on this team: Wesley Fields, Logan Hunt. Um, you know, a lot of these guys that have not ever beaten App State. You know, the Eagles have lost the last three games they've played against the Mountaineers. So for them to go out on top with a win over their rival would be huge. Um, so playing with, for that as well, and then you know, App State they had a hurt. Guy, they, their running back was hurt for the season, so he's out for the season. And it, sh it showed this past week against Louisiana their least convincing win. They only won by 10 uh, to the Raging Cajuns against a pretty bad Louisiana team. So um, they're coming off that, and we're coming off of probably our best one of the season against New Mexico State. Our offense was awesome. Our defense found rhythm in the second half. So um, it's going to be an exciting game for sure. App State, um, probably for the fifth year in a row, is the identity and it is, you know for five or six since they joined FBS they've kind of very much so been the standard for group of five teams and especially in the Sun Belt as well I mean they their passing offense has always been there you know they've got a new quarterback this year but he's just as good as Lamb was in the past few years their defense is stout they've got a great secondary they're a very good team um, that's why they're ranked you know I mean they're they're a very good five and one team that their only losses, as we, as we talked about, is to a ranked team in overtime, first game of the season. So they've won five straight. Um, they're just a very all-around good team, and it's you know they're definitely the second best team that Georgia Southern will face behind behind the number two team in the country in Clemson. So it's going to be a test. You know th th this is one of the weaker teams I think in the past few years for App State. App State their t their team last year I think was one of the best teams in App State history, but they. Um, so I don't think it's going to be as big of a blowout as, as, it, as it was last year. And really the past three years, none of the games have been close. So it's going to be a closer battle than it has in the past. And, the, and Georgia Southern is also very good, the best team that they've had in several years. So it should be, it should be a close game. Yeah, so there's tons of polls um, in the college football realm. There's um, uh, the AP poll, which is the most used, it's the most prominent, it's the most, um, has like the most significance, and App State for the first time in school history is ranked at number 25. So that's the highest um, you know, poll that is, uh, is around right now, AP poll. There's also the CBS sports poll, and there's also the coaches poll. The coaches poll we got in 34th place, I think, and App State was 26th. And then in the CBS Sports poll, App State was 23, and we were 54. So um, about 20 places between all of us and App State. So, um, but it is huge for them to be ranked and be the first ever um, ranked team to come into Paulson Stadium in the FBS level. I remember when we were in FCS, you know, the, the rankings for FCS rankings were different than they are in FBS, of course. So it's it's going to be a huge um, task to, to face. Uh, Georgia Southern has never beaten a ranked opponent. Um, the 
the one game they had against Florida, Florida was unranked that season. So it's, it, it's, it's a big test for sure. Theirs was a lot closer. You know, they, they lost by a touchdown in overtime, first game of the season. We lost by 31 points in Clemson. Um, Clemson, I think, is a lot better team than Penn State. Um, so that's that's one thing. I mean, Clemson, I think, is the second best team behind Alabama this year. So they're a much better team. Penn State's already had two or three losses now um, with Ohio State, and they've lost someone else as well. So they're definitely not the same team as Clemson. But still to go into one of the most difficult places to play in Beaver, Beaver Stadium and Penn State and for them to come away, they, they were leading a lot of that game and kind of let it slip away there in the fourth quarter in overtime. So um, I think their wins a lot, or their, their loss is a lot better than our loss, though our the team we lost to is undefeated and the number two team in the country. I'm um, not sure yet. I know I can't talk about Logan Wright though. Logan Wright came out, you know, Richard freshman, huge game for him. He had like 140 something yards, two touchdowns. You know, him and Wesley Kennedy really broke out. You know, we'd seen Kennedy before, especially with the Ark State game where he had the walk off touchdown. But this game for sure, they both got 100, over 100 yards. Fantastic. Just going back in between them two, throwing Monteo Garrett there, throwing Chai Words at quarterback. The option, the option was perfect. Um, in New Mexico State this past week. So if that can carry over and you just add Wesley Fields' experience and his skill. Um, he was out with a gro groin injury um, against New Mexico State last week. Uh, he still traveled, so he's well enough to travel. So I'd, I'd like to think that he's going to be there. But again, I, I, I'm not 100%. No, this will not be a high scoring game. I think that our defense and their defense are very good. I think, um, you know, maybe a 20, 20, 20 to 20 point game, you know. Um, Southern does not want it to become a high scoring game because if it becomes a high scoring game, App State can score more and quickly than we can. So if it does become into a shootout, Georgia Southern will not be able to keep up. Yes, I mean, I think this is one of the best defenses I've State's seen all season. Um, they're, I mean, they rank top 20. Georgia Southern's defense ranks top 25 in many different categories across, you know, for secondary and for the defensive line. Looks not as great this week, um, defensive line-wise, but, you know, they're still one of the better defensive lines in group of five. So, yes, I think we'll definitely be able to control them below 40 points, and if they don't, it's going to be a long night for Georgia Southern.